I know I said I was not going to make any more videos until I moved overseas, but I had to tell people this story. I am just showing the highlights. The YouTube channel that made this video put it into two parts. I put links to part 1 and part 2 in the description. This man is 81 years old and is from Tennessee. He had never been to the Philippines and had never been on an airplane. After watching different YouTube videos about the Philippines for three years, he decided to sell everything and move to the Philippines. And like many passport brothers, he is not rich or wealthy. He lives on social security and a pension. He is old, walks with a cane, and lost much of his hair. Yet, his Filipina girlfriend is 37 years younger. If you saw the video cover or thumbnail, she is beautiful. In fact, his children are older than his Filipina girlfriend. He was once married and said he thought he knew what love was. But now since he has been with her, he now knows what love is. Every YouTube video I see of men from the United States and Europe who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s who move to the Philippines. Say the same kind of stuff you are about to hear this man say. In my opinion, these men and Filipina women are a perfect match because both are very considerate people who have a lot of love to give. Thus, they appreciate each other. And because Filipina women are so wonderful, these men do not mind if she has children. Me personally, I had my passport since 1994. I renewed it in 2021. I am finally going to leave on April 2, 2024. I got my plane ticket. I go to Vietnam first for a few months and then to Thailand. I hope to make it to the Philippines by August 2024. The reason why I switched back to using a computerized voice is because my dog died and I cannot keep it together at times. She had two cancer tumors. One in her abdomen and another in her chest. Both ruptured, and there was nothing the doctor could do. The doctor said that she might have 12 more hours to live. At least I was there for her last moments. I held her in my arms. She knew she was loved and protected. She was a loving dog. A caring dog. She never bit anyone. She did not know how to bite. Everyone loved her. A lot of people in the neighborhood are taking it just as hard. I miss her, and I am not taking it well. Probably because I was able to treat her right, and I made sure she knew she was loved. And at least I know that when it came time to put her to sleep. I did it right. I know I am a good person. And this helps. Some would say that she was only a dog. No, she was important to me. She was something I loved and cared about. So for those people who say that she was only a dog. If something happens to something that was important to you, you will not get any sympathy or empathy from me. So fuck off. What I learned from raising my dog from a puppy is. As humans we can live alone, but like Kevin Samuels kept telling women. Life is better when you have someone to walk it with. You get a husband, kids, a family. Lasting connections. Who do you think is happier? The woman who is surrounded by her kids, grandchildren and maybe even her great-grandchildren. Or the aunt or sister who was a boss babe. The one who was full of self. Selfish, self-serving, self-absorbed, self-centered. The man in the video said that he was married for over 20 years. The mistake these men make is thinking they can make it work. They can never make it work with women who are full of self. These women all do the same thing. They are one way while you are dating them, and then changed after you get married. This proves one thing. They know how to act right and what the right thing is, and do the right thing. They were able to do all of this while you were dating. But once they got you hooked, and you cannot go anywhere, is when they change. Who they are comes out. And instead of getting out, we men stick around thinking that the person we dated is the person we married. I know, I've been there. I experienced this. But once I did. Once I accepted it. I was able to get out. I was able to see who she really was. I was never married, but I do understand how men get trapped in a loveless marriage. You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. You're going to be the one that's left a dried up husk because when she's done what you believe, she'll walk away. Still feels like a dream, but I know, I, I know that it's reality. Your life has changed so much. Man. Oh, yes. Uh, 100%, 150% since I've been here. I got here on October the 28th, and it's it's a, a new adventure, like I said before in one of the videos, a new adventure happens every day. I met a, a young lady that is the uh, apple of my eye. I mean, the, the sun rises up here and it sets on her feet. Our relationship is one of the, uh, I, I, I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, it's, it's, it's all like it's, it just, like it's not a reality, but it's, uh, uh, 
I was told by a friend of mine that if your girlfriend wants to take and weigh down you, don't argue with them because you're going to lose. <laughs> it's just like, just go with the flow because they're going to weigh down you, they're going to get your water, they're going to take and put your shoes on you, they're going to wash your clothes, they're going to do this, ask you to do that, and it might make you feel funny, but I'm starting to get used to it, even though it makes me feel like I'm a little helpless, but it's, it's just the way that the Filipino women are. So when you came here, you told me you had a few goals. You wanted to live in a nice, comfortable, safe place, close to healthcare. You wanted a resort pool. You wanted to be close to the beach. And you were thinking, if you're lucky, you'll find a nice girl too. That was on your list of goals. Yep. So have you accomplished all of it already? I accomplished it through help from the fellow I'm talking to right now. <laughs> And the next thing you know, I'm talking to my to my friend, uh, talking to Joy, and um, we talked for five hours on the phone. The next night, she came over to my apartment, and we talked for another six hours then. And then it's been history ever since. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a dream. What were you feeling when you guys started chatting? Like how? How would you compare it to previous relationships in the past? Oh, it was almost like. Um, we knew each other for for a year, two years. It, it, we just connected everything that we that we talked about. We had uh, we laughed at the same thing. We had the same thoughts, the same wants, and it just it just was uh, beautiful. Never once asked me for a penny for anything. My response when I said I'm going to help you find someone was, yeah, we'll see. At my yeah. age, who's going to want an old guy like me? Yeah, well, and I had looked at some of that. I never co corresponded, never clicked on their name, you know, but I've seen some girls in there that look beautiful girls that were looking for guys that, you know, 70 and they're 40, you know, or 30. And I said, eh, that's baloney. I don't believe it. You know, it, it's not going to happen. Well, but, you didn't think you'd find a genuine girl that it, wanted an Right, I guy. thought it would be somebody that's looking for your, uh, to, just to take you to the cleaners. But when I met Joy, I found... <laughs> She was looking for uh, every girl, I don't care how old they are, they want security. I don't care if you're 70 years old and a 70 year old woman and her husband dies, she gets married again, she still wants security. And that's, that's the way that it is here. Everybody wants security, but the, the age gap is not the big thing in, in the United States. If, if I would take her over there, they'd probably think she's an adopted daughter, you know. But, uh, and if we'd be holding hands, they'd look at me like I'm a dirty old man or what. But they don't realize, you know, how it is over here. You're taking care of each other, right? We're taking care of each other, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, and and I'm, I'm so excited to do things with her because she's never done anything before, you know. And you would think a woman like that would want to take advantage of it. But no, she's so used to living so long without anything, she doesn't, she doesn't require anything. You know, she's she's very happy with three pairs of shorts, you know, and a, and a pair of shoes. We go shopping. I say, hey, you need a new pair of shorts, you know, or you need it? No, no, I don't need nothing. I got two pairs of shorts at home, you know. Well, I'll get another pair to get a new pair, you know. No, 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 no. Listen to me. No, you know, I don't I don't need nothing, you know. So, so she just then, wants companionship. Yeah, she, she wants, she loves her security. She's got a nice home to live in. She has... Food on the table. That's her thing right there, you know. She wants a, a good-natured guy to yeah. enjoy life with. Right, yeah. And uh, so we, we just hit it off together, you know. It's, uh, it's just a, a great, great, great thing that, uh, that we have going. I think what they're doing is enabling us both to live longer. <laughs> if you, you know what I'm talking about, I, I'm going to live younger because she's making me younger. She's going to live longer because I'm making her happy, you know. <laughs> So it's a win-win situation for both of us. You want to tell the audience the uh, age gap? Yeah, yeah, 44 to 81. It's like 37 years, but she um, she treats me like I'm, you know, 50. I mean, she makes me feel 50. She don't treat me like I'm 50. She treats me like I'm, you know, make me feel 50. I couldn't ask for a, a better relationship. I mean, I was married for 20 years. And I didn't know what love was until a month ago. I, I, and that's you know, I was married for 20 years, and and uh, I, I feel it now. And I know what I've been missing. 
walking down the street with her, I felt kind of funny about that. But then when I moved here to the Philippines, you know, they said age didn't matter, or age didn't matter to the Philippine women, you know. And I, I said, that can't happen, you know. But I found out that after walking down the street, I see more, more guys my age with younger girls that and they, they hang on their, hand, their hands, they, 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 they sit there in love. Yeah, you can just tell by looking at they're in love, you know. And so now I feel comfortable. I don't feel uncomfortable by walking down with her, you know. She's not I, shy with like holding your hand and stuff no, like that? No, we kind of kid each other because somebody will look at us and she'll say, oh, that girl's looking at you, you know. And I say, no, that guy was looking at you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, if, if it wasn't for the arthritis in my knees, I would feel... I, I, like I was 40 years old or 50 years old. I mean, um, it's just that when we come down to the pool together, you know, we'll go swimming, we, we'll, we'll go here, we go to dinner, what you know, and it's it's just uh, a very affectionate. She's always very affectionate. I don't care if we're in the pool or if we're out for dinner, she's got to hold my hand. I don't know what my first name is anymore, I, and now it's Honey. <laughs> It couldn't. It couldn't be any better. There. I mean, there's things I don't want to discuss. That. <laughs> <laughs> that. Um, I didn't think could happen. <laughs> but. Wow. All right, Jerry. It's. Uh, it's uh, like a, a, a teenager. You know. Uh, we're. We're very compatible, and we. We. We love each other immensely. You know? What would you say to the other guys out there that are? getting up there in age and are considering this whole come to the Philippines to meet someone. What are your final thoughts on that to share with everyone? Well, if you're sitting there right now and you're watching a YouTube channel in the United States in Tennessee or Kansas City or Wapakoneta, Ohio, and they're saying in there that age doesn't matter to the Filipino ladies and you're saying baloney, you're wrong because age does not matter here. You can be, I know a guy around here that's uh, 85 he has a girlfriend that they live together, and she is probably 30, and they're in love. I mean, it's hard to believe, but it, it, it will happen. So if you're 75 years old, and don't think that you can't find a, 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 a nice young lady that will love you, you're badly mistaken. If you come here, you'll know what I mean, because you'll see more, more older men walking with a, a younger woman than you see a younger guy or two, two, two people that same age, you might say, walking together. You see it all the time, no matter where you go. You can be at the mall, you can be on the street, you can be any place, any town, and it's the same thing. There's, they have found their, their match, their love. And it's, if, if you were even at all have the one little inclination of coming here and afraid to, don't be afraid, just come here because you'll, you will thank me in, in, another, in a month after you're here. <laughs> You'll say, he was right. Like I said, I didn't know what love was until I met Joy. And it's, uh, it's just one thing every day that gets stronger.